சரி ஃபார் லேட் I am Kanagaraj, Faculty for Agriculture. I have been in this field for the last 15 years. And I have been taking Agriculture Optional for the last 9 years. I have gone to UPS Indy for 5 times, uh, 3 times for IAS and 2 times for Indian Forest Service. With Agri and Botany Optional. <clears throat> okay. So how many of you are Agri graduates? Okay. Uh, online students? Can you able to hear me? Please confirm the audio quality. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a great idea. Any allied subjects? Uh, horticulture, forestry. அது நான் சயின்ஸ் நான் பயாலஜிக்கல் பேக்ரவுண்ட் இல்ல மத்தவங்க அதர் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் இல்லாம பை பயோடெக்னாலஜி ஓகே அது மேக்ஸ் பயாலஜி எல்லாமே ஓகே ரைட் ஸோ ஒரு பேசிக்கா ஒர்க்கே ஒரு ஐடியா ஸோ தெர் ஆர் இன்னும் யூபிஎஸ்சி you have gone through the various okay the optionals in ups examination right so the process okay the the exam pattern the prelims mains and the interview so for the mains you have to choose one optional there are uh, uh, two options available so the humanities subjects like uh, sociology anthropology uh, political science okay those are the very popular optionals then uh, technical and the pure science uh, physics chemistry botany zoology right and uh, some optionals sir Uh, not completely pure science they are applied science so agriculture is actually applied science it's not a pure science agriculture forestry they are not pure science okay they are applied science so we apply the the knowledge and principles of botany in agriculture right so there is a relation between genetics and plant breeding so genetics is a pure science we study both genetics as well as plant breeding so in agriculture in the plant breeding is the applied form of genetics so we apply the principles of genetics in plant breeding okay right so that's why uh, because okay the problem is in the humanities and the technical i will give you both okay the ideas uh, what are the the pros and cons again okay, in uh, these optionals in the humanities subjects they need to mug up actually so mostly the the concepts are mostly based on your uh, the current affairs you can you can incorporate current affairs again okay, in the optional and uh, it's, it's purely based on your answer writing skill Okay, in the humanities subjects. Whereas in the technical area, you need to mug up a lot of facts, scientific names, theories, everything. But, so here the evolution is objective in nature. So here you need to satisfy, okay? So when you write something, when you write the answer, okay, analytical type of answer, you have to satisfy the examiner. Right? Your thoughts are, okay, should be aligned with the examiner. But here in the technical science, okay, pure science, suppose okay, if they are asking, write the structure of DNA. right so i don't change actually okay for the if you study okay, in the books okay if you study if you, actually there is one common universal universal structure for the dna proposed by watson and crick model right so if you write the the same theory you will get the full marks that's the advantage of the pure science so you have to study a lot you have to complete the entire syllabus then if you write what is given in the book that's enough right so here just you can follow the 
our material and the class notes and the, the standard reference books. Right? No need to think too much. Right? That's the advantage of uh, pure science. But the problem is, if you don't know the answer, here you can manage. So what are the questions? Because the subjects are mostly sociology, public administration, political science. So something you hear about okay, these areas okay, through current affairs. But here, the main problem is, if you don't know the answer, you cannot write the answer. You have to give the exact answer for the particular question. Right? So these are the only disadvantages of these two optionals. But my opinion uh, for uh, any students with the science, okay, for agri-graduates, uh, definitely you can choose agri option. No second thought, okay, no second opinion. So uh, you can, for any okay, agri-graduates, they can uh, choose agri option without any hesitation. For uh, the students with the biology background, science background, they can uh, think about agri option. Right? Only the paper two is a little bit technical. So to understand the paper two, they can choose, uh, they can manage, easily manage by, okay, by joining the coaching. Right. <clears throat> so I will tell you the, okay, the advantages of uh, this optional, agriculture optional. So actually ag agriculture is recently it's getting popular, one of the popular options on UPSC. And the success rate is also very high compared to other uh, optionals, nearly 10 percentage. Actually, uh, you have to see the, the proportion. You should not see the actual numbers. Because see, we have to think, see, uh, there are 10,000 candidates uh, every year appearing for approximately 10,000 candidates appearing for the mains. So out of this, only 100 students appearing with the agriculture optional. Right? So out of this 100, more than recently, last year, uh, the result was very good. From our academy alone, more than 10 students cleared uh, the CSE with the agriculture optional. Both the IAS and the then for service, okay, right. And our student, uh, she scored the highest mark in agriculture optional, 285 last year, okay. One of the highest mark in agriculture optional, right. So last year, okay, result, the recent result was good. So out of 100 uh, candidates, more than 10 candidates cleared, okay, in the final percent. So the success rate is around 10 percentage. Whereas if you see the success rate for other optional, popular optionals, it is around in the range of 5 to 6 percentage for geography, public administration, for sociology, Right, but the numbers are different. Actually, actual numbers, Padina, there are right? But you have to see the proportion, right? So, because in the other optionals, uh, why okay, mostly in the river, okay, many students can ask me this a common doubt. So, why the aggregate are not in the top rank? Actually, recent last year, our student uh, came top, okay, 122nd rank. He got IAS with aggregate optional, okay, right? But it's uh, very rare, okay, recently. So, we are more than there. When more and more candidates enter into uh, UPSC mains with the optional, we can expect top rank in the with the optional, right? So you have to see that okay, the numbers are very high okay, in case of other optionals. More than uh, 3,000, 2,000 students okay, appear for the mains. So it's natural that they come in the top 100 ranks, okay? Right. So if you see the proportion, then the success rate is very high for agriculture, okay? Then... Uh, Earlier, mostly the students, they avoid the, these kind of options, the technical subjects, because they, there is no overlapping with the GS. Okay, mostly they choose, okay, they choose uh, geography, sociology, PubBad, because uh, in the GS also the same subjects, okay, political science, polity, polity, geography, history also in for GS area. But nowadays, okay, so in the revised syllabus, okay, in the GS area, in a GS paper three, four questions from agriculture, right? And the prelims also, more than uh, four, five six, okay? five, five, six questions from purely from agriculture. Actually, uh, for to understand agriculture, we needed the knowledge of geography and uh, environmental science. All are interrelated, right? So combinedly from uh, environmental science, agriculture and geography, we can expect more than 15 questions in the prelims, right? And the agri okay, from agriculture alone, we can expect four to five questions. In the main standard, four questions every year, four questions from agriculture, uh, two short questions, two big questions, okay? and in one more the problem in Abdina for a non agri students, the problem is uh, the two questions are technical, highly technical. The GS area they are asking technical questions. So, another advantage for the agri students. Okay. And uh, just I told you, the okay, syllabus is very definite. Actually, in the uh, technical area, just you have to follow the syllabus. That's all. No need to think okay, too much. Just you have to prepare your proper notes for every topic in the syllabus. Uh, the questions are 100% from the syllabus only. Whereas in the humanity subjects, the questions can be asked based on the current affairs. 
But here, the current of his role is very, very limited in the uh, technical optionals, right? Then, uh, this is what I told you, the objective evaluation. Just you have to give what is okay, what is what, that's all. So, okay, I have to write what is given in the material or book, that's all, right? Then, uh, one more uh, advantage for uh, agri, agri graduates, we can also appear for Indian Forest Service with agriculture optional. It's a common, common subject. And the syllabus are same, exactly same. For agri and the, uh, for uh, forest service and uh, civil service, the syllabus are same, right? So you, you can study only one optional. And uh, in the Indian Forest Service, actually you have to study two optionals. We can choose, okay, agriculture one of the subjects, then best combination is botany. For agri and botany, many subjects are common. Like uh, the genetics, plant breeding, uh, plant pathology, plant physiology, um, microbiology and biotechnology. These are common between agri and botany. Sorry? So we can easily cover the botany option with the agriculture. So one more advantage. Okay, for other kind, okay, for other optional students, suppose if they appear for the Indian Forest Service, mostly they choose forestry and geology. So they have to study three optionals. In the CSL, they have geography, geography, sociology, for bad. Again, I have to choose two science-based optionals. Mostly they choose, okay, they go for the forestry and the geology. These are the four popular options in IFOS. The forestry geology combination or agri-botany combination. High success rate in the Indian Forest Service. Okay. Then, uh, even in Kelly Petroping, okay. The agri optional, uh, not only agri, for all the pure science optionals, botany, zoology, for these optionals, one a common pattern, uh, repetition of questions. See, every year you can see, uh, if you go through the last 10 years question paper, more than 60, 70% repeated every year. So we can uh, we can prepare the the entire syllabus based around the, the PVQ. Okay. Right. Right. So these are the advantages. So based around that you can decide. But I know some of for agri graduates, we need to think about uh, any other optional. Okay. It's the best choice. And for the students with the non-agri backgrounds, okay, any science background, they can choose agri optional. Okay. Uh, botany, zoology. BSc Botany, BSc Zoology, Biotechnology, Microbiology, or any allied subjects, Horticulture, Forestry, they can choose uh, agriculture optional. And uh, for engineering students, if you have studied Biology in your higher secondary, then you can choose Maths Biology. Okay. If you have not studied Biology in your present plus two, then this option is not suitable for you. So, because again, the paper two is highly technical, so very difficult to understand the paper two area. Okay. So you can think about some other options. Is there any doubt? So choosing of optional. Online students, can you able to follow me? So in our class, class program, it's a 4.5 months, okay, approximately four and a half months. We will complete the course by the end of November. So actually the course is going to start from July 17. Okay. So approximately four and a half months. Um, I will, okay, for the non-agree students and agree students, I will, uh, don't worry about the genetics, plant breeding, those areas, plant physiology and entomology, pathology. So don't worry about the paper too. I will explain all the concepts very clearly in the class. The basics I will explain clearly. So even if you agree or non-agree, don't worry about the subject, okay? And uh, regarding uh, the material, I, I have compiled a single material for the entire agriculture. Okay, earlier I referred, okay, three years back, I referred only the, I recommend uh, standard reference books for agriculture optional. But actually in the agriculture, one main problem is uh, uh, there are, uh, 20 subjects in our syllabus. Our college are already studied, 70 subjects are studied. Okay, so in our agree optional syllabus, UPC syllabus, there are 20 subjects. So you have to refer more than 10 books for to cover the 20 the subjects, right? So I prepared a comprehensive material for the entire agriculture for both paper one as well as paper two. This is a paper two, so the entire the syllabus. Okay, and this is a feedback from our last year, okay, the top the previous year toppers. The purchase okay, our material. 
they gave very good reviews and actually there is a uh, demand throughout india for this material okay throughout india poet irukku the material vandu okay. delhi link kuduthirukom right so you will get this material along with our class okay class number okay. two actual total are six volumes you will get uh, six volumes or two books paper and paper separately total are six volumes three volume each okay and the class test okay along with uh, our the class program regularly we conduct a class test every weekly once we conduct the uh, class test and we have uh, after class test i will provide answer key for the uh, the class test questions and uh, we have discussion also then uh, i individually correct the papers we can have uh, one feedback session every week okay one on one feedback i'll fix the time for one on one feedback then uh, i will share okay so we create after uh, uh, commencement of the class we create a separate telegram channel after enrollment okay we will be added to the the telegram channel where i will provide all the information the important inputs uh, current affairs in agriculture and the topics okay i will share topics answer copy when i said earlier last year undana the our student the top score in the 285 okay out of uh, 500 so i will share okay all those uh, topics answer copy in the channel you can refer those cap- copies okay right <clears throat> actually this is the overall uh, overall syllabus but uh, broadly nam paatha appadina so there are only three major areas in our uh, agriculture okay. the crop production uh, paper 1 okay paper 1 is full of uh, crop production area and the paper 2 uh, deals with uh, the crop improvement and uh, crop production okay so basically paatha only three major areas in agriculture crop production crop production and crop improvement okay so here in this again the crop improvement we will study about and the genetics area the genetics plant breeding seed technology they come under the crop improvement crop production entomology and pathology and the crop production agronomy areas so growing of the crop plants uh, better weed management irrigation management nutrient management soil conservation everything comes under the, the crop production area okay so this is okay our full syllabus in the paper and paper 2 so the marking pattern namu therinjirukku illaya mains okay 500 marks for optional so 250 marks okay for paper 1 250 marks for paper 2 so there are actually the question pattern eight questions and you have choice okay three question choice so you have to attempt the five questions so 5 into 50 250 marks okay so do okay the question will be divided two sections section a and section b so mostly the first two four subjects they come in the paper section a and the latter part comes in okay section b so section a consists of four questions section b four questions so totally eight questions you have to write five questions okay this is exam pattern right so here are the important areas actually all okay the entire topics are important one recent trend in our um, agri optional last 2 uh, 3 years i have been saying okay va many students uh, they prepare agri optional nare therinjiru nare perukku okay so already they heard about okay agri optional so one common mistake by the students they prepare only based on pvq and on the, on the advantage see it's a very common that in the science based optionals they repeat the questions every year not only in agriculture for all the technical areas but many students they prepare their uh, the optional only based on pvq they take last 20 years pvq 2025 phase one eduthu padipanga okay so they prepare answer only for the pvq that's a very wrong strategy Okay, so you have to complete the syllabus then you have to refer pvq so you have to analyze okay so first okay, if you are talking if you are covering this topic forestry or agronomy or ecology topic first you have to complete the syllabus with the, with the proper study material either if you join the class you will get the material or if you prepare on your own then you can get the channel reference books okay you have to buy the channel reference okay i will tell okay so suppose okay if you ask me i will give you the list of books for the agriculture channel reference books okay right so either you have to cover the syllabus with the, some reference books or with any material proper material then you have to refer pvq so don't search answer for the pvq in the website okay right then i another guy told me recently the question pattern has changed uh, they are asking new questions but the questions are from syllabus only but the questions are new yeah 
Yeah, actually in the section A and section B, there are uh, four questions in the section A. Question number one and five are compulsory. And here that consists of only 10 marks. Okay, five, 10 marks. So question number one and five are compulsory. Out of the remaining questions, you have to attempt uh, three questions. Okay, and one more condition. Um, apart from the compulsory question, you have to choose one more question from any in the section A and section B. Okay, so out of the, the five question, we cannot cho choose all the four questions from a single section. And one question from section D. If it is choose from here, okay, four plus one. Or India four plus one. We cannot choose like that. Okay. At least minimum two questions from a single section. Okay. Wow. So either a two plus three or a two plus three in the mari. Okay. Apart from a compulsory question, okay. One compulsory question plus one more question. Right. <clears throat> this is a pattern. So here the entire uh, topics, okay, the cropping system, uh, weed science, irrigation, terrain agriculture. So all these topics related to the agronomy area, the major part. Then uh, nutrient management. So these are the, the basic, the crop production practices. That's a major part of the paper one syllabus. Along with the uh, agriculture economy area and the extension part. Okay. In the section B, uh, most of the questions will be from the extension and the farm management area. Okay. All right. Then the paper two, again, uh, the section A is full of uh, technical subject, genetics and uh, cell biology, plant breeding, biotechnology and uh, seed technology. These are the major areas in the section B and the section, uh, section A, section B, the remaining part, plant physiology, horticulture, entomology and pathology and uh, food security. Okay. And one more uh, hesitation, okay, by the Agri students on the Nuru Puria or Palam work on the entomology and pathology. Right? So, again, uh, for a UPSC examination, don't worry about the entomology and pathology. So, here the questions are very rare from the um, pest and disease based questions. Okay, you know, apart from pest and disease management, other syllabus is okay. So, the syllabus consists of other areas. So, the questions are maximum one question they ask from the either entomology and pathology. And I will give you the idea so how to manage, how to cope with those areas. Okay, right. So don't worry about these areas. So, any other doubts? Okay, so demo on a path lama. Okay. 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 Right. Net zone area, grass crop area, cropping intensity index, or simply cropping intensity. 
What is the meaning of cropping intensity? Actually, the formula is uh, grass cropped area, the GCA, grass cropped area, this is a net zone area, okay, NSA. So, grass cropped area divided by net zone area into 100. So, this is the formula for the cropping intensity. Okay. So, what is the meaning of grass cropped area and net zone area? Any idea? Net zone area. Right. Actually, almost close on the thing. Yeah? Okay, well. Net zone area is the actual land area available for cultivation. Okay. So, for example, the total geography uh, area of the country. Uh, 328 million hectares. This is the total jar of area of the country. So out of this uh, 328 million hectares, currently approximately 140 million hectares of land come under the net zone area. Yeah. Approximately or nearly over 45%. Okay, 45% of the area. Okay. So what is the meaning of net zone area? Out of the total area, 45% covered under the agriculture. The land cultivated for agriculture, right? Okay, that is the 140 million hectares. Then what is the meaning of grass crop area? Okay. Hmm. So in a single year, how many times the land is put into cultivation? That is a grass crop area, okay? It should be more than always, okay, in our calculation, the grass crop area, it should be either equal to net zone area or always higher than net zone area. It won't be less than net zone area. Okay, the grass crop area. Okay, for example, on a simple understanding, have you about the Kaveri Delta region? Kelly Kaveri Delta, Grand area of southern India. Okay, and the Indo Gangetic Plains. Ganaria of India, okay, North India, Indo Gangetic Plains that comprises Punjab, Haryana, UP, Bihar, the entire stretch, okay, so the starting from Punjab to Assam, Indo Gangetic Plains. In a South India, the entire the coastal belt, Kaveri Delta, Krishna Delta, Godavari Delta, Mahanadi Delta, Sundarbans Delta, the entire Delta regions, they are the, the famous for the intensity, cropping intensity, okay. So in our Tanjavur, okay, Tanjavur, Thiruvarur, in the Kaveri Delta region, Kaveri Delta belt, the farmers usually go for uh, cultivation three seasons in a year. We have a season approach. Yeah. Okay, agriculture in India. There are uh, three major seasons in India. Karif, Rabi and uh, summer season. So throughout India, these are the common seasons in India. Karif, Rabi and summer season. So the Karif season follows southwest monsoon. June to September. Rabi season follows uh, winter season, winter month. Okay. Um, November to the okay, October to uh, March, the rabi season, and then uh, the March, April, May, summer season. Okay. In uh, many parts of okay, the Kavri Delta Delta region, the farmers usually go for at least minimum two seasons or three seasons in a year. Right? They cultivate either okay, the Kavri for rabi season, and uh, sometimes okay, if water is available, they go for the summer season also. Right? So here. Suppose I assume that a covered delta farmer, if he owns one hectare of land, okay, this one hectare of land is called a net zone area. That is the actual land area available with the farmer. That is a net zone area, right? If he cultivate the land three times in a year, in all three seasons, the grass covered area becomes three hectare. Okay. Right? So this is a net zone area. The actual area available for cultivation, but the land is utilized three times in a year in the Karib season, Rabi season, and again in the summer season because in the Kavadada region, one common cropping pattern is rice, rice, rice. This is a common cropping pattern followed in the Kavadada region. Right? So the farmers go for the rice cultivation. First in the rice powder, three and again rice, and third season also rice. Okay? So three rice in a single year. So here, if you calculate for the 
cropping intensity for the delta region, cow delta region, you will get the value 300 percentage. So grass cropped area divided by its own area into 100. So 3 by 1 into 100, 300 percentage. Okay. Suppose, okay, if a farmer from uh, central part of India, central part of Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat. So these regions are uh, famous for uh, dryland agriculture. Okay, in those regions, uh, the water availability is very, very limited. Mostly the farmers in those regions depends on monsoon rainfall. Okay, so in those regions, the farmers, mostly they go for only one crop in a year. And the Malavandatana there. They cultivate the land only during the monsoon time. Okay. So the monsoon time is southwest monsoon, Karif season. So most of the farmers cultivate the land in the Karif season, June to September, only one season. So here, in case of a farmer in Madhya Pradesh, if he owns one hectare of land, okay, in the central part of India, Malwa Plateau or in the central plateau, so one hectare of land, the, the same land utilized only one time in during a year. That, that is during the southwest monsoon season. Right? Because of poor rainfall and uh, there is no water availability okay, for the next season. So simply they leave the land fallow. You know that fallow three layer agriculture, okay? Fallow means without cultivation. So leave the land uncultivated. That is fallow. Okay, right. So the remaining part of the year, simply they leave the land fallow. Then again they start the practice again next season, June month, after the arrival of the monsoon. Right. So here for the, the farmers in the central part of the dryland region, the net zone area is one hectare and he cultivated the land only one time during a year. So both are same. Both net zone area as grass crop area, both are same. So here the intensity is just a hundred percentage. So this is how we calculate the crop intensity index for various, okay, for various parts of India. Then finally, okay, throughout India, on average, at present it is around 140 percentage for throughout India. So the actual figures are 140 million hectares of net zone area and 190 million hectares of grass cropped area. So approximately 140 percentage throughout India. But in one more way, 140 percentage, we can say 1.4. That is, we are utilizing the land 1.4 times. Okay. Right. So the purpose? Why we have to study this index? Cropping intensity index. What is the importance of this index? And other interpretation. See, while writing the answer okay, in your question, so, okay, so a very simple question. They ask you to okay, explain the, the concept of crop industry index. So we explain this concept with the illustration. We can also give this illustration. The farmers in the cow delta region, the farmers in the central part of India. So after giving this illustration and after arriving there, the, okay, the figures, then we have to give the interpretation. What is the importance of this index? Why you have to study this index? Significance. Okay, okay, because agri is a science-based subject, for every topic, you have to write the significance of the particular topic. Okay, why we need to understand this fact so that ah, uh, so this is one of the index okay that uh, reflects the uh, how the lands are utilized efficiently in India, right? If you are only 100 percentage, then we, okay, we utilize the land only one time during a year, and the other seasons, okay, the lands are left uncultivated. Not utilized properly, right? So if the percentage, okay, just imagine if the percentage is 300 percentage, or sometimes again okay, some areas. Suppose if you are growing three months crop, so three months crop, we can cultivate four crops in a single year, right? Three months crop. Okay, if you grow three months crop, so we can achieve 400 percentage crop intensity. That is the maximum uh, the efficiency we can achieve 400 percentage in a single year. So it shows that the land is utilized properly, efficiently. Hmm. Uh -huh. Suppose okay, if you are practicing intercropping, the land is shared, not the number of crops increased. Say the same, okay. So for example, if you are having one hectare of land, okay, 
if you practice center cropping, then the land is shared between the two crops. Actually, this is also on practice of crop intensification, but this is not the correct uh, figure. The correct way to explain the crop intensity. Is it the land? Yeah. But uh, there are some figures, okay, there are some uh, drawbacks in this index also. In a, in a, in a drawback, what is the drawback okay, in this index? So suppose okay, if the crop density is more, okay, so simply we can say if you see this fact, if they are giving this data, 300 percentage, so we can say that the industry is very high. So the land is utilized efficiently. Okay, we can uh, make okay, so the, we can draw the conclusion in this way. Suppose if they are giving this fact 100 percentage, so we can say that we can conclude that the industry is very less. The land is not utilized properly. But the problem is if you grow annual crops, sugarcane, banana, okay, that is a drawback of this index. Because sugarcane is a one year crop. Okay, so anyhow, you can achieve only 100% only. You cannot okay, go beyond 100%. Banana is a 10 month crop. Okay, it's not always correct. But uh, to, the, to the maximum, okay, for the seasonal crops, for the field crops, we can use this index. It is not suitable for the annual crops, horticultural crops. Okay. <clears throat> so our class will them both. Okay. So I'll explain all the concepts clearly along with this. So after after every discussion, I will uh, give you the questions. Okay. So in our class, uh, after uh, explaining the particular topic, I will uh, discuss the previous questions. So from this topic, uh, what are the, the questions asked in the previous year? Okay. Then I, I, okay, regularly, every day, I will uh, uh, give you the practice questions also. Okay. So after the class, uh, based on the, the discussion, okay, based on the topic, I will give you the two, three practice questions, 10 marks. Okay. But before that, actually, in the first class itself, I will give you all the okay, ideas regarding the answer rating. So how to okay, write answer for the agree optional. I will give you the model answers, everything. Then I will give you regularly, I will give you the answer rating practice. Okay. Any other topic you want to discuss? Online students? Land use efficiency, yeah, good. Okay. Where are topic demo? Ah. Uh, C3, C4, I'm a basic level or no? Okay, yeah, I'm paper to touch on the labina. The paper to area, the problem is we have to start from the basic. Okay. So first we have to understand the, the mechanism of the, the plants, okay, the water absorption. Okay. But actually on the cycle, and don't worry about the cycle. I have shortcuts now. I will give you the shortcuts. Uh, memory the to memory is a cycle. I will give the shortcuts. The enzyme name. Okay, logic we can follow the logic okay in the well memorizing that because that's the most challenging area okay? in the plant physiology we have to study a lot of cycles c3 c4 cam crop cycle okay tca cycle another okay citric acid cycle so long glay accelerate cycle glycolysis our okay along the Plus two, I okay, agree with okay. So in our plus two, we studied all this, yeah. The biology background. Hmm? In actual, that alone just one. I am going to awareness circle. See, the advantage of okay, agree graduates, I already have some awareness regarding this optional. Instead of choosing a new, entirely new optional, you can think about agri-optional. Okay, 
only the paper to is a little bit uh, technical and uh, it takes a lot of actually if you prepare for five months of dinner uh, within a month we can cover the paper one okay so it takes more time for to cover the paper two but they are scoring actually in the uh, paper one it seems easy okay wow. for a uh, study point we can easily understand the concepts in paper one uh, it's an easy subject though. okay it's like a general general studies okay even non english okay, graduate so they can easily understand the paper one area but actually scoring is very difficult in paper one when compared to paper two in paper two scoring is very easy they are technical okay just we are going to write another with the uh, diagrams uh, diagrams are very important one more thing and uh, since it is a science based optional so diagrams are very important okay both in paper and paper paper two you have to draw a lot of diagrams in the paper one you have to, okay, you have to draw a lot of india maps you have to you have to practice okay you have to practice uh, because in your gs paper one also you need uh, the india diagrams in the paper two, mostly the plant physiology, genetics, cell biology, for those areas, diagrams are important. Okay. Okay. Genetics is it's purely uh, technical. We study the uh, the mechanism or the inheritance of genes in the living organisms. How the genes are, okay? It's called, a, uh, there are two uh, subjects, classical and modern genetics. In our syllabus, we study only the classical genetics, Professor V. Mendel. Modern genetics, then, per recent uh, gene editing, okay? Right. So, in the classical genetics, we study about the, how the characters are transferring from offspring to, sorry, parents to offspring. Okay? That is a part of genetics. And based on this understanding, we develop crop varieties, that is a plant breeding. Okay. After getting the basic knowledge okay, regarding the how the characters are defined, okay, how the characters are transferring. Based on that, we apply okay, the same principle we apply in the plant breeding for development of new varieties. Okay. So we apply the concept of uh, Mendelian genetics, law of segregation, right? And the three laws: law of dominance, law of segregation. Law of independent assortment. We apply, okay, these are the basics. Okay. In the apply, we apply these laws in the plant breeding for development of varieties. And cell biology also. Actually, cell biology. First, before genetics, we have to study the other base. For genetics, cell biology is the base. We have to understand the nature of cell, the various uh, the functions of the cell organelles. And the okay, and the structure of the function of DNA, RNA. So they are okay, important to understand the genetics. Then understanding genetics is important for to understand the plant breeding. So interesting other okay. So okay, well. interesting only. Moreover, uh, they are high uh, scoring is also very high for these areas. If you choose a technical question, there is a possibility because okay? so we can score uh, maximum marks on the paper too. Right. Um, okay. Only students, now you can ask your doubts. The classes are starting from July 17. Okay. Only doubts are come. Current affairs area on the important only for these uh, three subjects. Actually, current affairs on the only to uh, focus okay, too much on current okay, for the agree optional. Um, but actually, this area, the farm management, extension of farm management, then uh, ecology environment, environmental science, and then uh, the last uh, last chapter, nutrition and food security. Only for uh, these areas, current affairs are important. So, uh, regarding the ecology environment topic, so here our syllabus on the, the, the consists of uh, climate change, uh, environmental pollution. They, okay, they are the major topics in the ecology environment. So for the under the climate change and the environmental pollution, you have to study the latest uh, developments in those areas, the government schemes, programs, international conventions, global agreements. You have to follow okay, those areas. Then uh, external so farm management. So here the syllabus, the syllabus part, um, agricultural marketing, 
minimum support price the agreed price policy they are part of the syllabus so we have to follow the correct affairs and the recent changes in the agreed price policy and the recent initiatives regarding the agri marketing so recently you might have heard about one scheme called enam kelly puttingla enam solitte electronic national agri market these are the current developments in the agri marketing so we have to follow those areas and again in the last topic food security area Uh, recent schemes and programs by the government because this topic again and their consist of okay, the syllabus are uh, malnutrition poverty okay and then uh, food security those are the part of okay, the syllabus so we have to follow the current affairs so recently there is a scheme called pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana under this scheme for the next 5 years we are providing food grains at free of cost that let us develop under the food security area so you have to update those area Otherwise, again, no need to worry about the okay, current affairs for the remaining areas. So the technical areas, now that there, no need to follow the current affairs. All my garbage, okay. So in the class itself, and I will uh, cover all of that. Okay, the current affairs, latest developments, everything, okay, cover in the class itself. But recent time, genetics also, or some other areas, matto. Uh, actually, we have to stick with the syllabus. But uh, recently, generating, okay, generating in the mustard. Recently, there are already variety, okay, very mustard variety in the through with the help of generating. So we can include those facts. So I will tell you, okay. So what are the areas you have to refer to the current affairs? Yes, okay. For the online students, uh, they will get the recorded videos. there will be a separate portal okay for all the students there will be a separate portal uh, in the portal regularly they upload the videos so after the class you can also watch the recorded videos so timing uh, evening is 8:30 okay. every day monday to friday evening is 8:30 there is a class timing Hours class, yeah. Huh? Abhi yaar, okay. Okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. And timing, it's not possible. Okay, ma. I mean, GS one timing, okay. How many days are there? Seven days are there. Like, ah. இப்ப கோர்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட் ஆகுது அப்படியா ஓகே சார் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஓகேவா Yes. Okay. Every year we conduct two batches. Um, another batch will be um, November. Okay. Two batches are going. Okay. So the first batch uh, going to start from July 17. Second batch uh, will be uh, from November December. Uh, mostly uh, December first week. One more batch. So every day we have class Monday to Friday evening six thirty to eight thirty. So regarding current affairs, uh, um, one more actually anyhow we have to read current affairs for your GS preparation. Yeah, another one. If you come across any uh, information related to agriculture, then you can include those facts in our optional. illa no, actually questions will be from based on the syllabus only okay actually the question the questions on the economy topic on the purely uh, sometimes questions from the environmental science pure environmental science questions like a greenhouse effect global warming 
those are the topics okay ecological principles agro ecosystem but since agri ingra enna panuvaana sometimes they link ecology with agriculture the recent trend appadina the question pattern vandu appadina how the ecological principles will be applied okay we can apply in the agriculture okay how can we make agriculture more productive or sustainable by applying the ecological principles so you have to understand what are the ecological principles and you have to relate with the, how these principles we can use it for development of the sustainability of agriculture so for example one ecological principle interdependence clear yeah. recycling of resources these are the basic principles of ecology environmental science la okay you'll study in gs also na you'll study in environmental science okay, this area recycling of resources interdependence ela undu na the basic principles in ecology so how we apply this principle in agriculture in the farming system yeah okay that's all in the inner farming system uh, several enterprises livestock poultry cropping system they depend on each other so we here we recycle the resources in the inner farming system okay so we have to justify this point adalam purely technical soil physical properties of soil chemical properties of soil soil conservation yeah actually detailed syllabus irukku idu undu overall like major topics again only major topics detailed syllabus is there okay so you have to find the answer for each and every topic in the syllabus and our class okay we go by syllabus we cover okay the entire syllabus all the topics in the syllabus ah ama nichayama ellame solanum agri syllabus nama agri enna agri padichama agri subject da adu undu okay va syllabus und limited actually in our agri uh, course agri graduation okay nam agri course la und we study more than 60 70 subjects here they have given only the selected topics but but und here okay we don't study entomology the nematology okay va nematology und part of our agri course illaya but here nematology is not part of our uh, agri syllabus okay upsc and then microbiology அந்த மாதிரி ஃபேக்சுவல் டூ மச் அந்த மாதிரி ஃபேக்சுவல் தான் போதே இருக்கு. ஆஹா அந்த மாதிரி பிரைசஸ்ல அதலாம் தே கேட்க மாட்டாங்க அந்த மாதிரி. ஆ வீக்கெண்ட் பேட்ச் एक्चुअली இஃப் யூ ஜாயின் எவ்ரி வீக்கெண்ட் we have a class in delhi. So if you want to join okay uh, weekend batch you can uh, choose a delhi batch. Saturday and Sunday. For online students, we dispatch the hard copy. Yes, my mental is more than sufficient. I have covered the entire syllabus and the reason I have the material. So my mental is more than sufficient to cover the entire syllabus. Any students, any doubts? So, timing is 6.30 to 8.30. Evening. So, this is my number. Um,
if you have any further doubts you can uh, message me or you can call me this is my whatsapp or telegram number the application spot we will cover in the class and moreover it will be covered in the material lessons itself because mostly since agriculture applied science uh, most of the questions uh, in the plant physiology also many questions are applied applied part application oriented questions actually we create a separate telegram channel so in the channel we upload all the details the class link everything uh november ka pura test series iruka adha nam class le vande during the entire of the class program we conduct the test regularly weekly test ஒன்னும்ரிகல்ச்சர் <laughs> I have gone to okay five times interview and never failed in prelims. I cleared prelims in my first attempt. Okay, ma. Continuous. I wrote uh, seven mains. Okay, ma. Another for any subject. Okay, apart from that, actually, currently I am in a government service. That's why late. I can't just make one day. This is an actual plan. Remember, I have last minute or urgent work. Okay, I have complete minute or I can't just let it go. So I already cleared uh, Group B service in the Tamil government. Apart from that, I cleared uh, tank exams, number of RBA, all of them. Okay, wow. So I paid more than uh, 10, 15 exams, okay? Apart from UPSC, UPSC, I paid for any separate exam. That's all I paid for. I paid for various complete examinations. So for any doubts, any uh, preparation method, uh, you can ask me. Okay, wow. Okay, Okay, thank you. Any doubts? Any? Okay, online students. Okay, thank you. class is starting from july 17 and roots are coming Thank you all.